were changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the red menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Hey guys, Hyde here, and welcome to Fallout 76. I decided I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a series on this channel through this game. We're going to be playing the main storyline, keeping up with the events, doing some side quests, just having fun, playing around Appalachia. I'm really excited. This is... I honestly really enjoy this game. But I have never played it on my computer before, so bear with me while I learn controls and everything. This is our lovely face. You know, we are absolutely beautiful. Look at that nose. Mm, it's a face that only a mother could love. <laughs> that we are we are definitely going to change this up. So, let's see. How are you guys doing today? You doing great? I hope so. Ah, there we go. Jet black. Beautiful. Look at the size of that forehead, my man. Can I... Left mouse is how you move it. Oh, okay, I am moving it. Okay, 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 I see. I see. We're gonna move these lines. I'm gonna try and get you as looking close to me as physically possible. I'm still on the forehead. Okay, ignore what just happened. <laughs> um, let's see. That's moving to the, okay. Right there and up slightly, maybe? I'm like, I am really bad at getting characters to look just like me. It is the bane of my existence. Boom. Okay. There we go. That's how you accept. Okay. Okay, we're getting the hang of things. Blue. Hail Bloodshot. I don't like that. It looks like I was doing some druggy drugs. Not gonna lie. I don't do the druggy drugs. Maybe some marijuana, but you know, that's, 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 uh, that's how we do life nowadays, man. No, like, can't really be mad about that. Okay, move those eyelids up. These eyebrows just, they gotta go. They are awful. They are horrible. Good lord. I'm gonna do arched intents because I have been told I have extremely bushy eyebrows. Okay, there. We will do that for now. That is... Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna fast through. In... Up, maybe? I don't know. This is gonna be really bad. You know what, you guys? Give me a minute.
Okay, well, there we go. A uh, slightly more ruggedly handsome version looking of me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Actually, I want to change this facial hair up a little bit. See, I usually keep mine a little on the rowdy side. Is that really the only goatee features we got in here? Okay, well, I guess we're keeping it. We'll keep it for now. But we have one final thing to do. Boil it. <laughs> no, I'm not really that fat, but... Let's... Eh, I'm a little more on the larger side, I'm not gonna lie. We'll go about right there. Boom. Okay. There we go. Done. And it only took me 20 minutes. I am proud of myself. Okay. Here we go. Name your character. Wow. Hide. Sir. Good. You. There we go. Hide. There we go. Boom. Fabulous name. Ah. See, this, this is going to be the thing that might screw me over just a hair. Okay, so how do I take this? Boom. Okay. There we go. All right. Now let's actually get into this. Man, I forgot how nice this room looks. See, I wish we could have something like this for our camp. I know we got the, um... Oh, crap. I forgot I could do that. I know we have the, uh... Donut one. But it's it's just... doesn't satisfy the same. Can I get up? Oh, okay. That's how I open the map. How do I get up? There we go. This is going to be a, a, a learning experience for everyone. You guys are going to learn to not find me annoying, hopefully, and I'm going to learn how in the hell to actually play this. Yeah. Happy Reclamation Day. Today is the day, everyone. Reclamation Day. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Overseer. You know, when this game first came out, I was really wondering what happened to her. And I was hoping we would find out, and then Wastelanders came out, and we finally got to know what the hell happened. If you don't know what happened, where have you been? This game has been out for like, what is it, two years now? Two, three years? I know it's been out for a good minute. Oh, look at this beautiful shower. Can I? Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh, wash away my sins. <laughs> Reminder. Don't put TP on backwards. Yeah, that's right. It's on there, right? Yeah. That's the only way to do it. If you do your toilet paper the other way, I swear, I'm going to find you. I'm going to throw donut holes at you. Okay, so... We already pretty much know everything in here. I really forgot how nice the vault looked on the inside. Hello? Well, somebody's in here. Okay. There we go. Open the door. Let's go out here. You have Hello? been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Just know that Vault Tech is proud of you. I am proud of you. Well, when you hear this, it means I've been here. gone for several hours. I've got my own mission out there in Appalachia. No. This is the Overseer signing off. Message repeats in 24 hours. Yeah, System is right. So if you guys play this game, what kind of builds are you? What do you like to do? Have you played it at all? Or have you beat the main story? Like, I really want to know. I'm curious. Bye. Let's go to the overseas. Hold on. Do 
we go down here? No. Okay. The empty hallway should have been a dead giveaway. Hello there, Crutchley. Hello. At Hello. last. Today is your reclamation day. I bet you're just bursting your bolts to get out there and see the world. I mean, I suppose so. Still no work from the overseer. No, and we're not likely to get one. It's been months. Besides, she left this place behind to reclaim America. It's past time you followed her example. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, sir. Nothing at all. The exterior sensors were taken out of commission after that unfortunate business with the nuclear bombs. With so many of your friends having been gone so long, I cannot begin to speculate how they've transformed Appalachia already. Excellent. Adventure and opportunity awaits you, sir. The kiosks have valuable information to help you thrive out there. Best get cracking! Thank you, Crudgley. Heck of a party last Thanks, night, buddy. eh, sir? Good to see you all together one <laughs> last time. Okay, so that's how I do that. Joyous and not staving off a horrible death minute by minute. I love how they don't realize that I just walked away and I'm not even listening to what they said. Report. I'm not gonna bore you guys by making you read through all this, so. Overseer's log, or should I say, direct communication. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. But I'm glad you did. Truth is, I need your help. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Because if there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there, or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. Okay, well, I do like the talking to the, what was his name, Crownsley? <coughs> that he actually, oh, Crowley. Rebuilding Aren't America. you dead? I My thought boys. you sacrificed yourself for the Winchesters. <laughs> Still, I'm sure your <laughs> camp will make it easy peasy. <laughs> so I'm glad that they, like, uh, they changed the dialogue and he keeps up with, oh, everyone's been gone for months, your buddies have been gone for a while, who knows what they've been doing, no, we still haven't heard from the Overseer. It's like our character never actually left, but everyone else has kind of just been chilling on the outside. The gig. I love the art style and the little <laughs> shows Some that they do. Some may call them jobs, but I like to think of them as perks. You know, the first time I played this, I actually walked walked oh yeah I forgot that happens okay we're gonna pour into intelligence nah let's see what do we got okay 
here we go. Pharma, pharma, lit belly, first aid. I think I'm gonna do concentration. There we go. I'm gonna try and go for a power armor wearing auto build. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but that's what we're gonna try for. Now, what I was saying is, when I first played this game, I actually happened to walk right by this one, didn't grab the perk cards or anything, and then I watched Oxhorn do a video on it. And found out, oh shit, there were perk cards on the table, and I should have grabbed them. And I didn't. Right, there we go. like it is a good game and it doesn't deserve as much hate as it's gotten but oh hello see nice thing about playing this before is I <laughs> know where some stuff is does that so good it's so funny <laughs> it's actually kind of scary how well she does it hello Pennington oh How are you sir doing? My those man. young ladies down there they seem exceedingly alive yeah. they haven't yet made any untoward advances but perhaps you could speak to them verify their intentions are civil Only that they appear to have some vested interest in accessing the vault. One seemed quite perturbed when I told them that wouldn't be happening. But I'm not sure if she believed me. Well, I mean, the worst thing she can do is knock. I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault, people don't always have one's best intentions at heart. I'm sorry to say it, but it's the truth. Until quite recently, it's been exceedingly peaceful. I maintained my post, greeted latecomers out of the vault, and otherwise reveled in Appalachia's natural splendor. But very recently, it seems people have come back to Appalachia. Those two and more to boot. The non-vault sort, you understand. It's all very concerning. Who knows what they might be up to? Well, yes, but it's been some time. But she was a resourceful woman. I, I'm, I'm sure she's all right. Oh, do be careful out there, sir. One thing that really sucks about playing this post got to be a Wastelanders way is all of the overseers holotapes the are gone. Dweller? I wanted to get hey the story there. of what happened to her between leaving the vault and her return here. Which is actually a really interesting piece of lore and I'm kind of sad they removed it. Or at least they removed it as far as I know. But it sucks. Hello. Whoa, whoa. Just a friend here, not a threat. Just had some questions for you. Are you You though? came out of the really? vault, right? 
I thought it was empty. No, I just so happen to be Wait, wearing the jumpsuit. Is the door still open? <gasps> no. What's my your partner interest, and my dude? I need a way into that vault. We got a tip from the Wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that. After you gave him the last of our caps. And he said that inside that vault is the. You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know. The thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. But... I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But... Those were the last of our caps. No. Someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? Perhaps. Let's see. Wouldn't happen to have a spare they weapon, would you? you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. Thank you. A machete. That's extremely useful. What else can you tell me about Happy this Happy to tell you what I know, which isn't much. Someone made a broadcast not too long back about there being some kind of treasure buried in Appalachia. We don't know what, we don't know where. But with people as desperate as they are, it's meant everyone with a functioning radio has come back to try and see if they can get a piece of it. Mm. Monsters or no? Guy we met at the Wayward. Carter, I think was his name? He gave us a couple of leads to chase down, in exchange for all our money. Up to us now to make something of them. What can you tell me about, about the Appalachia? Area? Other than it's a graveyard? There's that. Hmm. We haven't been here real long, but from what we've been able to piece together, the area got hit pretty hard. Not long after, well, these things showed up. The scorched. They're merciless. They seem to have cleaned up whoever the bombs might have missed. Without people around, everything else has gone haywire. Okay, well, what's the world we like We both out came there? over from Virginia. Well, what was Virginia? There's a lot more hot zones that way. And the few spots that are livable, well, they got picked clean fast. I mean, Appalachia's dangerous, really dangerous. But it's better than where we've been. I bet it is, actually. Isn't there someone in... I think it's up in Foundation. There's a woman there who's from the pit, or are they all from the pit? I don't remember, I just remember there's someone up there that's always talking about it. Did you see another vault dweller go by? An overseer? Hmm. If your overseer crossed our path, she sure wasn't broadcasting it. Sorry. You might ask at the wayward. Seems like they set themselves up to be a natural stopping point. Hmm. Well, I better be going. Watch yourself out there. Okay, so, we did that. One thing I'm debating about while I'm playing this game for... You guys, is do you want to see the original uh, storyline before I play through the Wastelander storyline, or do you just want to see the Wastelander storyline? Because I'm thinking I might just play through Wastelanders and then do the original storyline in the background, but I haven't entirely decided. Okay, cool. There we go.
See, one thing I've always found slightly confusing is when they add waste to added wastelanders, the scorched are still like everywhere. Still a good bit of them. Still a good bit of scorched beasts. However, at the same time, even after beating the main quest line, I don't think it would make sense to have removed them because they are one of the creatures in the game that make this one unique from the other ones. If that makes any sense at all. I'm not gonna lie, I find them interesting, annoying, and rather tedious to murder, but the lore behind them is really cool. I will just take these. Hello, little beaver. Wasn't there? Yeah, there's another thing up this way. beautiful it's fun when you've got friends to play with I mean it's fun by yourself but there's only so much to do on your own I'm actually part of a uh, enclave faction on discord and if any of you guys would like to join I'll leave the link down in the comments I'm sure they would be more than happy to have you hmm. Hello. I know a guy who could fix that howdy Looking for a hot meal? I've got some extra rad stag meat I'm cooking up for folks. Is somebody there? Um, what is huh? happening? We got uh, uh. Hold on, bro, I got you. What the heck was that? It's time. Show you. What's that so over that's there? How I do that. So. Okay. Anyway. Foundation might be coming along, but we got a lot more work to do. Am I not gonna be able to? Re-enter that, uh, tree with you? No. Okay, well, that sucks. I'll take that. This, don't need that right now. Oh, it's pretty warm money. Oh, I'm all out of water. Let's see. Okay. Got more rad stag oh. meat than I know what to do with. Figured I could feed some hungry <laughs> that souls. Was, that was a delayed reaction. Water. That sounds great. I could eat a cow, two heads, well, and ramen ain't on the menu. Now, how do you like your rad stag cooked? Hmm. There we go. People, you know this ain't porridge or a bed for a bear, right? Ah, oh, Sunny makes it good. Could be worse, I suppose. Thanks, pal. Oh, so I was just talking to the wrong guy. Oh, you guys. Mm. It's time to turn over a new leaf. A little bit more salt. Twins so over here. Land and glory. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just taking your food, your water. I'm sore all over. Okay. Building this place up is hard work. Thanks, bye. Okay, we're good. Lumberjack Protectron does not want to lose Lumberjack job to cheap human labor. Please enjoy this complimentary sample of wood. Thanks, Bill. <laughs> I don't want to lose job to cheap human labor. Oh yeah, well we didn't want to lose our jobs to... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that building. I'm just gonna head on towards the wayward. Fix. start there and before the next episode like I said let me know would you guys like to see me go through just the wastelanders and do the events focus on events focus on daily ops or would you like to see the original storyline as well because if you don't want to see that I'm gonna go ahead and play with that off camera just to get a little more used to these controls and everything 
But if you do want to see that, cool. We'll go down that adventure together. You know, now that we have the Brotherhood, next thing I would like to see, and I'm not just saying this because I'm part of a faction, I would love to see more Enclave. Like, maybe some Enclave Remnants come back, or something along those lines. It would be really cool. Like, in Wasteland, first of all, you stay on your side of the road. <laughs> Second of all, okay, I know with Wastelanders we got that Enclave Bunker. But no live Enclave officers. We got the AI in there, but that's that's it. There's not a lot going on. I mean, we got a responder hanging out in Flatwoods. We got the Brotherhood here again. We could, we could use a little bit of Enclave, right? I mean, they're the bad guys in every in every game. Clearly, we don't we don't need to idolize them or anything. Cough, cough. But it would be cool to see a little bit more of them. One idea that I actually saw pitched in Discord <laughs> is a game that allows you to start with the Enclave. You're an officer, you start at one of their bases, you go out doing stuff for them, rather than starting on with the Brotherhood or in a vault. Just something new to go about. you been there. So that's how I do that. Uh, okay, I see. Okay, okay, we got this. Now. We got this. We got this. Our Gucci. Hello. It is me. Hi, the boy. Jeff. That's where I thought your name was Jude. Suit. You come out of the vault up the hill? Hell of a view. Though I guess you didn't really get to enjoy it, did you? Well, you see, it was built to stand a nuclear blast, so no, we didn't have windows. Thanks, though. So. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Okay, hi. Hello. It is me. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now! Sir. Sweetheart, I think you must be sick, because pointing a gun at me in my own bar is a terminal affliction. Yeah, if the, uh, how much wrong was here, she'd rip you in half. this place together out of mobile homes because I'm thrifty? Do I look like I know where this treasure is? Shut up! You got ten seconds to tell me where Crane is! Honey, you picked the wrong time to get a drink. What are you? Hey! Who the hell are you? I would love some Nuka-Cola. <laughs> oh, you know, I'm just passing through. Whoa, whoa, None what's going on here, pal? Business. What's going on is that... This one seems to think I know where this big treasure is, and that I'm building my new bar out of refuse for fun. Lady, this is your last warning. Our crew is getting that treasure. I feel like I it's will not. I'll happily send you both to the great goddamn beyond if you don't start explaining where I can find what's ours. Hiring? You serious? You got a gun in your face, and the first thing that comes to mind is picking up a side gig? I mean, I got nothing better to do. I did kind of hmm. just come out of a Guts vault. like that might take you places. What say you and I finish shaking down this broad and then we... There we go. I told you it was going to end badly. Thanks, guy. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than enough for one day. Oh, I got you, girl. I got you, but I'm going to look around first. Anything of interest in the bathroom? Hello? Lickety split. Mort is the strangest ghoul I have ever met in my life. Where is the ghoul bully on guy? Oh yeah, he doesn't show up until after uh, the end of Wasteland, right? I have no lockpick skill, so I can't access that. Okay, Duchess. 
I guess I'm open to conversation. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. Oh, it's First all good rounds now. on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Well, first of all, you can tell me what the fuck was that all about? Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Have you ever heard of crucifixion? It did wonders for the Legion back west. Ah, uh, you looking for help with these things? Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy we put down? He's not the first of his crew to roll in here. But I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house. But my muscles run off. So I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? Perhaps. Let's see. What do you know about? Only that they want something from Crane. But I think we could use that to our advantage. That is, if you're doing this job for me. Perhaps. Why not send your friend over there? Primarily, primarily because your security, other than me right now, are one former contractor and a robot that has no guns and thinks it's a cow. To not put too fine a point on it. So I could absolutely use another set of hands if you're willing to lend them. You want me to kill them? I don't care how you deal with them. Sweet talk, string up their leader by his ears. Hell, buy them all ice cream sandwiches. Whatever you can do to get them to stop harassing us is fine by me. First of all, there is a reason I am chunky. I do not. I repeat, do not share ice cream sandwiches. Those things are fucking bomb. They are delicious. And if you touch mine, I will cut your hand off, okay? Okay. I would rather shoot them in their dick. How much are you paying? 50 caps if you can get the job done. Hmm. That's a little low, but considering I am new here, quote unquote, I guess I will accept that. I'll hear this plan first. Only seems fair. The details, then. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single minded thugs? Oh, you know. Mail invitations, maybe. Some my mom did for my birthday parties. Though I guess no one can come to those either. You see, it all started when I was in sixth grade. Yeah. Oh, darling. Um, see, as fine as that idea is, you know, I was thinking we could take a different tack. Just give me one second. I'm waiting. Huh, okay, I think I'll just do Well, you should have at least let me buy you a drink. I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it, use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Uh, Mr. Handy might have mentioned it, but I was too busy ignoring him and exploring the vault before I left. Wasn't that important to me now. Hmm. Guess we're just gonna wing it. That's the spirit. <laughs> hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you I'm on sure about, you Mordecai? Hey, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. 
But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, <laughs> you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And Thanks. so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do this. Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point. But it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. Oh, so that's where it went. Okay, well, thanks, I just did on you. You're weird. Don't want to talk to you. Alright, guys. Well, that's going to have to do it for this first episode of Adventures Across Fallout 76. <laughs> no, that's probably not going to be the title, but at least it was worth a shot. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.